Looks like Jason's gonna take uh, Vegas. We got Halo. Spider Man, and he's um, get back in the crime fight. All right, you got your Excalibur Casino Hotel down there. Mandolin Bay back there. That's my joint right there. Place is off the hook. New York, New York. It's a badass uh, hotel too. We got the MGM right here. This place is dope at night. <laughs> Tropicana over there. It's Vegas in the night. Live. Paris over there. Flamingo. I just, I'm just blown away on down community of mad nightmares finally back in the building i uh, had a great vacation man I went to vegas first time i've been to vegas where it wasn't over 100 degrees it was a nice 85 all the way through so your man was loving that uh big apologies to everybody who was sending me messages uh facebook and you know all that stuff it was just one of those times where i just couldn't really get to it man i ain't gonna lie i was drinking a lot yep drank quite a lot ridiculous stupid a lot but you know what vacation that's what you got to do if you've never been to vegas you got to get out there it was so fun did not get any figures while i was down there it was just the fact that there was no stores really near the strip uh the next uh, comic shop was like 13 miles out definitely wasn't going to pay the cab driver for that but anyways they weren't selling too much down there but still had a great time uh, got a lot of stuff in the mail from the past birthday I had, so I'll get into that in a moment. But so I just got some things just to you know work on this week. I have the battle show going on. Uh, me and Kansas going out. There's a lot of good participants in this one. So definitely, if you guys get a chance, check out King Beast Man, uh, make some serious moves. Just you know, a lot of good stuff has been going on since I've been since I've been gone. Uh, like you know, a week goes by and there's a lot of movement. Articulate Comic Book Art is going strong. You know, a lot of contests are in there. So I have to get cracking and get back in the flow of things but I'm just now starting to you know get caught up in all the videos so just a lot of good stuff out there but so yeah a lot of good movements uh, here in the community so we're just gonna keep it going so let's get into some of the stuff I've gotten here pretty quick for the birthday got some thank yous I got to give out uh, my man El Chiru 101 my man hooked me up with the final leg I needed the Aries the last build a figure I needed to complete uh, super clean I gotta find all those damn weapons. I can't remember where I put them at. And he also sent me the the Saint Walker figure. Very cool blue on him, man. Just really solid. Really like it. He actually stands pretty good. I mean, even without the base, I have the base on him just for support. But he stands pretty good. So once again, big thank you to El Chiru. All right. Let's now, one of the things I did by myself when I was down in Vegas was there's a little import shop at the Rio. As soon as I stopped in there, they had all a bunch of, you know, knives and swords. And as soon as I seen this one, I knew I had to get it, man. This thing was a beast. You can see all the detail in it. It's like a, a eagle handle. You can see the eagle head on them. Uh, really cool going against a snake. I love eagles, man. They're, they're like, you know, the, the birds themselves, man. They're so cool. Very powerful. I love the base of this thing. Let's see if I can open this one-handed. Oh yeah, look at that bad boy. See, it's got a dragon logo on there. So really cool. I have, you know, I have just a few, you know, knives and throwing stars and all that stuff. Um, but I want. As soon as I saw this, man, I had to get. It. I just love that handle. 
I mean, that is beyond cool. Yeah, I love this thing. This thing is really cool. I mean, it's not sharp or anything. It does have a nice point on it. I mean, I know a guy at work that does sharpen things, so I could get it sharpened, but, you know, what's the point? I ain't gonna shank nobody with this thing. But yeah, this thing is so smooth. Camera doesn't pick it up, but there's a nice finish on it. All silver. Uh, really clean. Gotta give a big, big shout out to my man Tony. He's out here in the, the West Coast. You know, in my state, actually. He found me this. Yes, this was the figure I've been waiting for for some time. The Charles Woodson Raider. Now, this is the only one. Well, this other what's in here. You can only get these guys as collector's levels. You know what I'm saying? There's only, what, a thousand of them made? Yes, you can see this is 847 out of 1,000. And I actually have the other Woodson, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, but yeah, he it was funny too because he found me on YouTube. He, he uh, sent me the message saying, hey, do you need a the Woodson Raider figure? And I was like, yeah, okay. And he's, he's like, all right. So when I go back to the store, I'll pick it up. And I'm thinking, you know, collector levels, as soon as you see them, man, they are gone if you don't pick them up. So I was kind of worried, like, oh, I don't think he's going to you know find it sure enough he found it <laughs> I was shocked I was like oh hell yeah so this I mean you know I me mean, I'm a diehard Raider man and I'm, Woodson was just one of my dudes when he was playing with them uh, you know it was sad to see him go but that's just a business and I hope football actually has a season this year I don't know what I'm gonna do but yeah so he's gonna get put on the wall and Tony actually sent me more figures as well uh, the vision variant this thing is super nice actually seen uh, an open one that my buddy at uh has at his store and this thing is really cool i don't know if i open it or keep it in a box i haven't decided yet i don't have any plans for displaying him but you never know i might and also the miss marvel variant now i had the original variant uh when it first came out the short hair one i didn't like that one compared to this one this one is super nice really love the hair on her uh, very solid figure this is another one i don't know if i'll open it but Actually, I, one of those regrets I had was actually trading off my other Miss Marvel I had. But, hey, that's what happens. She does have nice energy blast. So, once again, big thanks, Tony, man. I got some stuff sending out to you uh, this week. So, be on the lookout for All right, that. So now you see the Woodsons on the wall hanging up there. Where he's going to stay for a while. There's the Green Bay one. I actually had another one of these Green Bays. And I wish I would have held on to it because a lot of people were needing it. But I ended up selling it off. But it's all good. And then there's the other Raider one. Yeah. So it's looking pretty good. There's all the other collector levels. Smooth. All right. Huge shout out to my man Sean Long for uh, sending me the other King His figure. Uh, I actually sent him money so he can pick this one up for me. So now I have two. One for displaying the snake mode. The other one in... Uh, you know his regular form which now is disappointing because this is the damn reverse shoulders but you know what it's all good I'm not tripping on that so I'll definitely open him up pretty soon and he also sent me for my birthday a bunch of troopers a Star Wars troopers sent me three of them so once again man thank you for that I'm getting on my Star Wars trip and uh, really army building and I actually like these ones uh, they got their removable helmets so you can do a lot with them even though the the helmet I don't know if the camera will pick it up. The helmet's actually a different color than the the actual suit. It's a little bit faded, it looks like. But nonetheless, still dope. I actually really like these figures. This one's actually pretty clean. I don't know if his head comes off or not. I'll have to open these guys up when I get a chance. But once again, man, thank you, brother. That was really cool of you to send these out for me, man. Really dope looking out. All right, my man Joe. Uh, Maverick, I should say. He actually hooked me up with uh, this Nightcrawler figure and this Captain America. Both of these I wanted to get, but didn't really want to just because of the other character they came with. This one comes with the the Wolverine and the Storm. I don't really care for that Storm. Uh, so he actually just hooked me up with just a Nightcrawler. So that was big looking out, man. I really like this figure. Finally. All right, just before I went on vacation, I was able to find some figures. Um, that I actually needed and wanted for a while, especially this Jean Grey. I had her a while back, traded her off. Um, you know, one of those things where you just can't pass up on a deal and never found her since. 
but now I got the opportunity to get one did not pass on it it's an awesome figure very awesome if you have a chance to get it definitely grab her I mean she's one of the best uh, female MU's next to spider woman so very very clean figure actually able to pick up uh, this Jedi figure um, the only reason I really got him was because of the the lightsaber right there that's turned off I thought that was a really dope accessory uh, and his lightsaber is kind of this light blue so this was a must get and of course Darth Vader what collection is not you know without Darth Vader you know this is one of the best villains of all time um, and actually I got to see this guy opened up and his mask and all that stuff comes off so I thought that was really cool so as soon as I get a chance I'm gonna open all these cats up alright guys I'm gonna finish this uh, Super Sunday off here I know it was a short week I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things uh, once again I'm working on a lot of contest entries uh, just more around display so next Sunday we'll have something really to talk about but once again man I just like the way the community is going and uh, everybody keep doing your thing alright you guys peace